Good morning or afternoon, depending on what time you're uh, you're watching this. Obviously, plane going over. Yes, um, could be Davina McCall. She lives near here. She has her own helicopter. Does she really? Yeah. Well, there was her own helicopter, but she is often chartered around by helicopter. It lands just about five miles down the road. Here she comes. <laughs> Here's Davina and Havel. Something <laughs> is going seriously wrong. Uh. So one thing we've decided to do is maybe a couple of how-tos. We know they're popular, don't we? On we YouTube do. and stuff, how to do this, how to do that. So we thought, actually it's not us, is it? It's not us. No, no. It's our mate Gareth, Gareth Hutchins, who has done um, a load of how-tos. This week, how to change a nappy. Mm. Which sounds very easy and very simple. And in hindsight, after two and a half years of changing nappies, it is very easy. But when you've never changed a nappy, you can work it out, but a little more to it than first meets the eye. Well, there's little things like when wiping, I won't give it away because Gareth is about to show you, um, but wiping, you have to wipe in a specific way, obviously. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, here's Gareth to tell you how to change a nappy. My world was crumbling inside, but something told me that I needed to be a man. Be a man, get in there, change that nappy. And so I did it. I went in there and came face to face with my aggressor. We're going to do this. Let's make sure we've got all the relevant tools to get you clean. One, a new, clean, fresh nappy. Two, wet wipes. Three, nappy cream. Four, throw away your sense of smell. I'm your dad. You're going to poop. I just need to get over that. So you're going to move your clothes as far away as possible from the danger zone. Just release these little fasteners on you. Grab you by the little ankles and lift. Now, use the nappy to scrape away as much of the evil as possible. And dispose of the nappy in a nappy bin. Now, we take the wet wipes, probably about five or six, and clean your little baby bits. Make sure we get in all of those little creases. We don't want you getting infected. We've got to make sure you're as clean as possible. Obviously, you're a little girl. If you're a little boy, it'd be slightly anatomically different. What, what's next? Well reminded, Mila. Nappy rash cream. Let's take a nice big dollop. And we're going to put this on your little bits. You're going to poop again. You're going to wee again. That's who you are. You're a baby. That's fine. Get in there. Change that nappy. Be your dad. So there you go, a very easy how to change a nappy. So you're going to be quite busy then, nowadays. I um, am. If you don't know, Al has decided to, is it weekly vlogging? Weekly vlogging, yes. Every Sunday evening at 7pm. That's a lot of work. So, mm. dad chat every Friday, 10am-ish. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get in. <laughs> Al's, Al's dog Patch is scratching under the door. Mm. Not now, Patch, you've been fed. Um, so. We do dad chat every morning, on every Friday morning at 10. You do the Fergusons. It's the Fergusons, well, the Fergusons, same thing. Which is Sunday at? Sunday at 7 p.m. Yeah, and so, so it's a family vlog. It just kind of follows our life as a family. The real, I'll tell you what really happened. Yeah. Um, we did a couple of videos just as and when, and everybody said, Jen, my wife, is really good on camera and she's funny and they really liked her so then they basically we started doing it because everyone wants to see more of Jen right that's, that's what it is the long and short of it yeah uh, we played a, a football match it was, it, it was a charity football match wasn't yeah it? it was a charity football match uh, six aside was it five aside <laughs> it felt like five aside it was in fact six it was six aside and bigger pitch than I thought it was gonna be oh, no uh, we did we didn't do too well um, here's a little clip from it's the Fergusons and a bit of us playing uh, footballers, trying to play football. Saturday afternoon and we are, well the Dad Network Dads are all playing in a football tournament. Um, so far we've won one game, we peaked, won the first game, and then we've been gone downhill since then and lost the next two. We've got two games left, I'm sure we can up it. 
it's quite good. Nice to have a run out. Shift a bit of the dad bod. I don't think you've talked about your injury within 20 seconds. <laughs> I did get injured within about 20 seconds. Yeah. And now, now I'm limping. And it would have been really embarrassing if it was so bad that you had to actually come off and be subbed. <laughs> I did. I was a massive dead calf leg. It was bad. It was bad. I'm a dude. Oh, I love this a is, camera. This is Paul. Hello. <laughs> you do love a camera. I do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Dan the man. Afternoon. Big Adam. Afternoon. All 120 kilos of him. James. You alright? Folks. Mr. Cobb. Daniel Cobb. Yeah. And then our top goal scorer of two with a grand total of two <laughs> Jamie I actually genuinely look like I'm dying <laughs> I think we all are a little bit oh. how's your back after that well, uh, it took me five days to get over it <laughs> how's your uh, leg yeah two minutes into the first game <laughs> He, he pulled up with an injury. <laughs> I, 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 I did a trick, or well, a sort of trick around someone and landed awkwardly on my leg and it was very, very painful. So I had to limp off in the first game. And he didn't play the last two games. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, when you're not fit though, come 42 now and you realise, yeah. You know, your brain is, is going, yeah, you are amazing. You can do this, you can do that. You can run up and down the field. Your legs are going, off. <laughs> I know. You did. You did really well for 42. That's you did pretty good. Because, I played football for two years. Then you did very well because I. It was the first occasion that I suddenly realised I'm not 18, and I'm only 29. But I. It, it hit me. I can't do exactly what I used to be able to do. I used to be rock up and like play. I didn't have to warm up. I just didn't do anything. We need to get you fit again, don't we? I need to get fit. More on that next week, actually. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. S something is happening. Um, right, thanks for watching. Uh, short and sweet today. Uh, back next Friday at 10 o'clock. And uh, don't forget, it's the Fergusons on Sunday at 7. 7 p.m. We'll link below. Yeah, down, down there, down there. Cheers, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I hate doing that. I hate it.